Maybe they just fixed the gearing setup where you can't, you know, screw yourself over. Oh, I thought we were going to tap that wall. Oh, I thought so. Oh, my God. I was praying we were going to tap it. on reach board side trade welcome back today guys to the channel gran turismo sport back for yet another episode but today though we have some brand new content for today now if you guys do remember they were hinting at dropping a big dlc for this game which was going to be free and well they stayed true to their word man we have some huge things coming into the game including gt leagues now which is actually a solo career mode for those of you guys that want to go back to the roots of the game and grind out some races you know tune your cars up and all that we also had uh 12 new cars coming into the game and we had a handful of them we had an rx7 we had a couple skylines come in so it's gonna be a pretty damn good episode for today we also got some new scraps to take a look at uh, Gran Turismo Sport back with some refreshing content, man. I'm actually really excited. This is update 1.0. 0, 09 if I do not mistaken right there man. Let's have a quick look uh, at what exact oh here we go man We got the full list of cars in here as I said we have the RX-7 Spirit R we have the GTR R32 R34 We have a day of SVT Raptor Lamborghini Countach F40 coming in which I'm actually pretty excited to drive We have the crossbow we have the Enzo Suzuka Swift Volkswagen and uh, look right there, Chris Holstrom Concept 67 Chevy Nova. You damn well know we're driving that for today. Corvette Stingray Convertible C3, man. Oh my god. We also had the new layout for Kyoto Driving Park. Uh, hopefully I didn't just butcher that. And of course, they've done a bunch of handful of, you know, fine tunings and stuff like that for the game. So I'm really excited. Would love to know your thoughts so far on Gran Turismo Sport. How are you liking the new update? Leave all your comments down below. But today, though, we gotta build some cars, man. So ladies and gentlemen, if you guys do want to keep seeing Gran Turismo most part on the channel don't forget to slap that like button we're going straight into nissan and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and pick up i'm thinking an r34 man we're just gonna run this as she is uh 336 horsepower on here and i mean godzilla right i mean this seems like the perfect fit for today on the wheel we have the fanatic csl elite package out but is. now if you guys do remember big drops that happened with bape anti-social social club and undefeated now i tried to pick up the babe sweater it was just it was way too expensive man it really was so i uh i found something that wasn't too bad uh you know at first glance i thought it wasn't gonna be too expensive but it came to a total after shipping taxes to get it to my door uh 200 and about 40 dollars for this sweater so i'm really expecting some high class quality right now and here we go man look at that you can already see the gran turismo logo on there fabric feels really nice it's a big sweater i can definitely tell i don't know what the hell that all is what is that looks like a damn chipmunk was all over my sweater already man come on now really what is that what is that shit finn i don't understand what is all over my sweater right now that is weird Looks like a bunch of, I don't even know, like crumbs almost, but I, it can't be crumbs though. Like I've never, it's all over me right now. What the hell is that? Okay. Interesting. Thanks a lot for sending crumbs with my package. So this is it. So it says Gran Turismo, the real driving simulator. If you guys don't know, this is the collaboration with Undefeated. And uh, here is the back of it. Just really classy, simple. That has the Undefeated logo there with the Gran Turismo logo and their logo. Polyphony Digital on the back. And uh, it's a pretty fire sweater, man. You know, it's nice. Is it worth $240? I mean, that's up to you to decide. I figured, considering it's going to be, you know, a you know, one of one in that sense, and, uh, you know, they're never going to make anything like this again, I figured it would be cool uh, to actually pick one of these up for the price, right? I mean, the bait was like $600, and I could not... Uh, I, I just couldn't do it for something that was not even going to be in Canadian dollars. And then, uh, you know, yeah, it was just, it was crazy. I mean, it's almost seven, $800 for a sweater. It's just, it's ridiculous. Like I said before, I'm not a part of Cloud Gang, okay? I can't be uh, tossing out those racks on a sweater like that. But I'll toss out a couple racks on Undefeated Sweater, though. Let me know your thoughts down below. And uh, I gotta, I gotta clean this shit, man. Like, what the... Well, it's definitely some rare stuff right there, man. You're never going to find anything like that again. And that was why I decided to pick that up. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and buy this R34 first. $61,000, man. RB26. Uh, I'll see you guys at the track. I'm trying to find this new track, and it's harder than I thought, man. There's a lot of different damn layouts here. I'm thinking it's this one, and it's this one. These two are the brand new ones coming in. I thought that there was already um, a Kyoto driving park. I, I mean, like I said, I could be butchering it. I'm super sorry on that, but... Uh, we're going to go ahead and try this one. Maybe. I mean, it looks to be like the one. I'm pretty sure this is it. If you guys can confirm or deny in the comment section down below, that'd be greatly appreciated. We'll go ahead, pick up our R34 all-wheel drive right now, man. Manual transmission. Uh, let's just go... What do you think? Intermediate? All right, man. Let's go intermediate. I'm not that good. Come on. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit disappointed on that sweater being you know crumbs in the bag i don't understand how crumbs got in the bag i if you guys ordered merch from undefeated did you have that same kind of you know crumbs coming out of the bag i mean they're not crumbs it wasn't food it was more like um you know like a wood chip like a really fine chip almost it was i don't know man I didn't know if it was going to end, man. I was going to sit there all day and listen to it. If that was the case, I'd be appreciated. Quick look behind us, man. Look at that R34 wing. I love it. Imagine being able to own one of these cars in real life. It would be ridiculous, man. It really would be. Super rare. I don't know offhand the legal restrictions on this R34. If you guys can uh, fill me in down below. It always changes, I feel. So it's always hard to keep on track of these. But if you can, guys can give me the proper import restrictions for this car. I would love to know down below. This track seems real nice. It's nice and big, and it looks like we got a nice stretch of road, man. Excuse me, Type R. I'd like to change cameras without hitting... Yeah, I hit pause. Okay, that's great. How about just change cameras, man? Oh, there we go. There we go. Now, my brakes are actually working today. If you guys do remember last episode, I was having issues with my brakes. Uh, it just... You know, it was really hard to push down today seems like it's fine so seems like they may have fixed a little bit of the dead zone issue i don't know we're coming down to a hard ass damn corner there we go 451 on the horsepower man looking good right now let's start the time trial uh the horsepower that we should have had from the start right that's all i'm saying we should be able to just toss this now there we go Ooh, i can't wait to watch that in the replay that was pretty far. Okay. I'm going to try to go through about four to five cars for today and just, you know, cruise them around, just kind of get first thoughts, first impressions of them. I will tell you what, though, this RB26 has treated us pretty well, and I'm going to see if we can... Yep, there we go. Okay. Just foot down, no lift. Keep the balance of it. A little bit of grass. That's okay, man. A little bit of dirt don't hurt. Let's toss it. Second gear. Oh my god, no. What am I playing, man? Fours? I can't do that shit. <laughs> Maybe they just fixed the gearing setup where you can't, you know, screw yourself over. Oh, I thought we were going to tap that wall. Oh, I thought so. Oh my god, I was praying we were going to tap it. Let's turn in. Oh, shit. Shit. Grass line. It's okay, man. All-wheel drive. It's what it's for. Yep. Ooh. Not bad. Handles pretty damn good. I'll tell you that right now. Ooh, there we go. We dropped maybe one tire on that. That was it. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah. We just, we just tapped it on that shit. Okay. There we go. Not bad, man. I love the physics of this game. It's really a unique game, man. It really is. And, I mean, you can't understand it until you play it. And once you play it, that's when you understand how, you know, true Gran Turismo is. And they have done a lot of work on this game ever since, you know, the very first Gran Turismo. And they just keep going. And, I mean, here's a finished product. It's a damn good game, man. I've been having a lot of fun with this. Definitely would like to come back more to this. So if you guys do want to keep seeing GT Sport, make sure you guys go ahead, slap that like button. And oh, yeah, very okay, yeah. I do believe 
We got a little bit technical with the drifts, man. I want to see these little taps here if we can. Ooh, that was fire. No way. We just about hit that. Are you kidding me? Oh, I see it. Oh, my God. $300,000. That's it? I'm taking it. 732 horsepower. Oh, my God. The SEMA show is the world's largest annual car show hosted in Las Vegas, Nevada, in the U.S. every fall. And at SEMA every year, Gran Turismo picks out cars to fit the philosophy of Gran Turismo for the GT Awards. The car that won the best of show in the Gran Turismo Awards of 2013 was the 1967 Chevrolet Nova. The original Nova is popular small car of the Chevrolet built between the 60s and 70s. While there were high performance top grade models powered by V8s, at the base is a simple functional car that was made by a daily driver for youths and families, man. Okay, the shop who turned the modest family car into a crazy hot rod is Chris Holston Concepts, a specialty shop from Washington State. Jesus, all right, man, just buy the damn thing. Here we go. East Outer Loop Tokyo Expressway. That may be something interesting just because of the fact that we have so much power. BB Race, no. Suzuka, we could try Suzuka. Mount Panamera, man, we're going to Bathurst. With the V8. Oh, man. Let's go to the CHC on the window. Rims, you know, the paint. Everything just fits on this car, man. I really do enjoy it. So, first time seeing this, actually. I don't know if any of you guys actually have photos of this car. If you do, tweet them to me on Twitter. If you only could have seen my face... When I heard that shit rev on, man. That, oh my god. I legit have goosebumps, man. Ooh, okay. Just toss it in third. We're just cruising here on Bathurst, man. Let me know what you're doing today. Because we're just cruising. Coming around that, uh... Oh, shit. What? We gotta get a little burnout, of course. I wish I could look around, man. I look around? I can't even look around. Son of a bitch. You gotta give us the control to do that. I wonder how big of a peel we can leave here. You guys know I love this view. We're gonna probably stay in here for a second. Woo, okay. It's rowdy. <laughs> it's so rowdy. Does our handbrake work, though, is the question. Oh, it does. It's quick. It's real quick. We may have got a little bit of air on that. Hope the brakes are good. Oh, yeah, they are. Thank you. I'm going to do a little bit of on-the-fly tuning here because this thing is super strong, man. It's crazy. Ah, that should be a little bit better. Okay. Okay. I want to make sure I can control this thing. I'm going to be honest with you, though. I don't see this drifting a hell of a lot. It does sound extremely well, though. Seems like they fixed the shifting, though. Really have. Yeah, instead, it just didn't go into gear. I tried to downshift into that, but... Oh, you... We tapped it. Tell me you've seen that shit. We tapped it with the Nova. Thank you. My day is complete. Yep, do it again. Thank you. Oh, my God. No, no. It's just, it's so untamable. I mean, I don't know if you guys have driven this. If there is a, uh, you know, a key to making this thing actually, uh, you know, maybe hold some drifts, would love to know down below in the comment section. Oh, here we go. Let's see what we got for the top end. 166 coming around. We have six gears on here. This is not going to be good, is it? We're going in hard. I couldn't make it, man. I tried. I uh, so this thing is definitely a lot faster than I was expecting. I mean, it's very uncontrollable as well, too. I mean, especially when you start getting sideways. If you really put your foot down and you go full lock, it's not coming back. And you just really got to be careful of that. Uh, but, I mean, like I said, though, if you guys have anything that you have made yours drift with, let me know down below. What do we got, Lauren? Oh, okay. I see what this is. Handbrake it. Oh, or not. Okay, cool.
They're just coming down real nice. You hear the birds chirping in the background. All four rotors getting warm right there. Look at that, just menacing coming up there. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh my god, man. That's not what I did. No, no, no. That wasn't me. However, though, going down the downhill, I was impressed. You just had to make sure that, uh, you know, you didn't overdo it coming down because you would have lost it very, very fast. But if you were just nice and smooth with it, it held. And it was good for what it was. Here we go. We got a little. Yeah. Right there. Tapped it. Sick. We have the Doritos in the game, man. We got to do it. So we're going to go ahead and pick out the RX-7 Spirit R Type A FD 2002, 292 horsepower, and it's only $40,000, man. Like I said, uh, it's been nice that we haven't had to spend our entire bank account on buying vehicles on this game. As you guys know, uh, Gran Turismo Sport, you know, they didn't make it cheap for starting out, and that's not the big boy edition, uh, so I can get the extra cash right off the bat. Uh, then they then patch the money glitch, so you can't really do that anymore, at least to my knowledge. If you guys know a way around the money glitch, uh, let me know, please, down below. I appreciate that. Yep. Good old 13B just kicking in there, man. I like it. Uh, we're going to go ahead into car settings. Now, because of the fact that we're uh, on the Norch Life, we're probably going to be just driving this. So let's go ahead and give it a little bit more juice. 351. Appreciate that. I like that we can do that right off the bat and not have to buy anything. I mean, you can level it up if you wanted to. I'm trying to save my mileage points, so we're not going to do that as of yet. I am curious, though, to see what we can get um, that Nova up to for upgrades. If you guys have done that, would love to see it down below. RX-7, FD, versus the ring, man. Here we go. A little bit of Norch Lifea, tourist section. It really is the same thing. It's just you can't just run that back straight coming off. That's about it. Hold on to her. We got it. Easy in. Oh, shit, we don't got that, though. That's uh, that's rumble strips. And thankfully, we did not hit the guardrail. Jesus. Now, if you are going into gear too fast now, instead of not letting you into gear, it just kind of acts like, uh, you know, you missed your clutch. And that's really about it. So they did fix that, which is awesome to see because that was a big problem of this game. And I feel like it took out a lot of the fun. And uh, it was really frustrating. And now, though, you know that you screwed up because you'll hear it. And you won't be able to actually get into gear right away. So at least it throws it in there, but, um, you know, it's nice that they fixed that. We're just ripping down this back here. 135, 145, fifth gear. Ooh, not bad. We have yet to run that F40. That's something that I definitely wanted to check out. To hear that thing spool up, and I may have to check that out. And yeah, I cut it because I crashed, okay? Yeah, you're a genius, man. You put one and one together. Appreciate it. You know, I came in too hard on these braking, that's all. Brakes aren't the greatest, man. They're like damn dinner plates out here. We need to upgrade them. There we go. There we go. Oh, yep, yep, yep. We did the same thing, but we just tapped it again, man. Look at that. We're just tapping shit. It's not bad. It's perfect. Drop that. This is a tough corner. I was actually watching a bunch of YouTube videos on that exact corner. People just coming in way hot. And it was like very early. It was like 1960s, 70s. And you can just see everybody ripping through there. And they don't know the track, I guess. But uh, crazy stuff, man. There's a lot of history behind this track. Definitely would like to visit this at one point in my life. And uh, hopefully put down a lap, man. I know there's a lot of work to go before that. But, oh, see. All right, man. I got to be honest with you. I wouldn't feel right if we did not run the Ferrari F40. It just, I feel like we need to do it, man. We got this in the game. Uh, this is one of my favorite cars. And uh, we need to do a lap on this quick. Wow. <laughs> okay. Just imagine. Imagine being able to listen to that in person. It would be ridiculous, man. We're going to stick with Sport Hards, what they gave us. And uh, let's see if we can have some fun with this F40, man. Oh, my God. Listen to this thing. This is huge. It's a big day to be driving this. Cockpit is super nice though, man. I really do enjoy this right here. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, come back, 
girl, thank you. I'm in second, thank you. Oh my god. This is going to be a drive right now. It's going to be a big drive. Second. Full throttle. Oh my god. We got air. Let's try this again. Third gear. Full pull. This thing is sketchy. We're right here. Tires are damn squealing. Coming in. Perfect. Okay. Oh, no, no. I got her. I got her. Woo! Downhill. This is, uh... Full concentration on this damn thing. Oh no! Ooh. I feel like I'm always riding the fine line with this thing. It's non-stop, every single corner. Oof. Paired up with no traction control. Boost on the horsepower. Trying to make sure I just stay on this track. But I will be honest though, this update for Gran Turismo Sport is huge. It's free. And if you guys have this game, highly recommend checking this out and getting back into the groove on GT Sport. And maybe uh, I'll see you guys online for maybe a drifting lobby or something like that. I haven't drifted in a little bit. Last episode that we did on Gran Turismo Sport didn't really get a lot of support. So I figured we'd just kind of hold off until the next big update. And uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this one today. If you are here at the very end, don't forget to slap that like button. I definitely do appreciate the support on today. And um, I'm just excited to see more cars coming into this game. And I really am because obviously GT Sport, you know, I wanted to do well. I really do because I know we're not getting another one for a very long time. I mean, obviously this is to hold us off. This is almost like a prologue of what they did before. And uh, if that's the case, you know, expect maybe another two years before we get GT7. Hopefully it isn't that long, but, um, you know, with the way that it's going, it very well could be. So, I mean, that's just my personal thoughts. Let me know yours down below. Ladies and gentlemen, actually, before we go, though, uh, we got to take a look at the scraps, man. Let's, uh, you know, let's make a little Christmas card. Send that to your friends and family, man. Season's greetings from the channel. Big thank you for everybody coming around for yet another Gran Turismo Sport episode. Don't forget to slap that like button like I said if you guys have made it all the way to the end. You guys follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of which are found down below. It's your boy Trade. I'm out.